Hey, what's up guys? Frank here with another video and today I wanted to talk about what should you do if you want to learn outside of school, okay? And so I personally think that school is it's it's okay, but you should not limit your knowledge and your skills only from school. And so if you want to learn things outside of school, what should you do, okay? And so, first of all, there are a bunch of things that uh, school is not going to teach you, okay? And for example, school is not going to teach you about money and how to manage your money. And school is not going to teach you about anything related to health and fitness and exercise and eating healthy foods. School is not going to teach that and school is not going to teach you how to manage your relationships could be uh, romantic relationships or, or even like your friendships. And so school is not going to teach you those things. And so what should you do if you want to learn things outside of school? Well, there are a few things that you can do. And the first thing that you can do is probably my favorite, and it is simply to learn online, okay? And so if, if like just this video here is a way to learn outside of school, you know? And when I say online, it's pretty, it's pretty large. I mean, yes, you have YouTube videos, but it's anything related like to the internet and so yes youtube yes could be any video format could be uh some websites you learn some things on on the website some blogs uh you learn maybe on social media some things that you want to learn okay and so for example one of the things that i love to learn online is anything anything related to money and and business because I own my own business and I have my own business and so I love to learn things about business and I use the internet to learn about business and I use the internet to learn about how to manage my business and how to manage my money and how to use my credit cards and all of these things and so School is not going to teach that, and so that's one thing that you can do. You learn things online. You use YouTube. You use the website. You use the internet. And now there's even artificial intelligence. You can ask intelligent, artificial intelligence pretty much anything that you want, and AI is going to reply to you anything that you want to know. And so... If you want to learn about business or if you want to learn about health or relationship, you can just ask Google, you can ask AI, you can ask YouTube or whatever. And so school is kind of getting outdated, if that makes sense, because school, they use the same procedures and the same ways of doing. But you see, you have to keep in mind that these systems they take a very long time to update to be up to date and what they teach oftentimes the teacher at school they usually use the same thing they, they, they teach the same thing over and over again you know like school is kind of a kind of updated if that makes sense it is updated And so another thing that you can do is learn from people that you know, find some mentors, you know, but instead of being online, you can, maybe you can find people like in real life. And so, for example, if your goal is to become a millionaire and you get to know a millionaire in real life, then you may, maybe you can learn from this person. Okay, 
And so, for example, right now I own, I own a business, right? But I actually worked for a tech startup for two years and my goal was to learn from this person that was the business owner, okay? And so when I finished school, my first job as a worker was to work as a, in, a tech, in a tech startup, okay? And my goal was to learn from this person that was the CEO and the business owner so that one day I could have my own business. Do you, do you get it? And so if your goal is to uh, start a business, for example, then learn, learn from someone that is either already achieved it or that is trying to achieve it, okay? And so my goal was to start a business. And so I worked for someone that was building a tech startup, that was building a business. And because of that, I was able to have this mentor, that this person that I was learning from, and I was able to build my own business. But you can basically apply this concept to anything, okay? And so for example, if your goal is to learn about fitness and eating healthy foods and going to the gym, for example. If that's your goal, then maybe you can find a friend or maybe you can find someone that will teach you how to do these things, okay? If you know someone that goes, that always go to the gym and then you wanna go to the gym, then you, you'll be like, huh, I'm going to go with this person. I'm going to ask this person to teach me how to go to the gym. Because you see, school is not going to teach you that. School is not going to teach you those things. And so you have to keep in mind, what is it that I want to learn? What is it that I want to do? What is it that... What is it that I want to learn? What is it that I want to do? What is it... What is the skill that I want to have? What is it? What is it that I want to improve? Okay, what is it that I want to improve? And then, if you're able to find a mentor or maybe a friend or maybe you'll you'll need to pay someone in order to do that. Okay, and so for example, if you don't know anybody that can teach you how to go to the gym, then you 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 might want to hire some sort of personal coach or some some fitness coach that will actually help you and teach you those things. And it's the same thing with, with anything. If, for example, you're struggling with dating, then like there's a bunch of things that you can do. Maybe you have a friend that knows how dating work and then this person can help you and give you tips so that you're able to learn or maybe you can find some sort of dating coach that will help you how to how to approach dating and how to approach the dating world okay and so depending on your situation maybe you have a friend that can help you and teach you things or maybe you can work for this person so that you're able to give value back. You work with a person that you want to learn from, just like I did in my tech startup. I worked, I worked for the person so that this person can teach me. So it didn't cost me anything. I simply gave my time and I worked for the person. Or what you can do is pay people to teach you. Have some sort of personal coach, have some sort of dating coach, have some sort of fitness coach, have some sort of business coach. You pay people so that they teach you things. And so that's kind of that's kind of what I I think, okay? And so 
And all of those things that I'm saying can be in person and can be online. But what I'm trying to say here is that you should never, never limit yourself to only school. I mean, yes, school teach you a bunch of things, which can be great. And going to school will teach you how to become a productive member of society that is able to contribute to society. But you should not only limit yourself to school because school is missing, is actually missing a bunch of things that will make your, your life great. And so all these tips that I gave you in this video, you should use them outside of school so that you reach your goals and you learn the things that you want to learn to become the person that you want to become. You should not only limit yourself to school and if you do go to school, you have to keep those things in mind so that you you don't only rely on school. And if you decide to not go to school, then you all these things that I mentioned in this video, you should try to apply them as much as possible. Because in the end, Either if you go to school or not, you should always be learning. You should always be learning. If you go to school, you should be learning. And if you don't go to school, you should always be learning. Okay, so I hope that this video was helpful. And let me know if you have any questions. Okay, peace.